Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we have an update for Google Chrome today. New version of Google Chrome that has arrived. Chrome 101. It seems not that long ago that Chrome 100 was actually the uh, main um, driver of the new versions. So uh, four weeks later we're at Chrome 101 and what's new in here? First of all, to have the new version go on the upper right corner, three vertical dots. Go to help. How about Google Chrome? It will roll out to Mac, Linux, and PCs in the next days. And of course, it contains security updates. And we'll talk about that in a separate video. Here, we're going to talk about so what's new, what is in here. So, um, some improvements in the UI. So, for example, in the downloads, when you look at the downloads, you high. Um, there's some stuff here that um, will actually improve the visuals or improved the bubble when you're downloading something also the way that it shows you the progression. They're tweaking that user interface slowly to make it kind of better. Uh, and the passwords, you can now actually set a comment next to whatever website password that you saved in the browser. That is also something new. Um, what's mostly major is under the hood, and it's the first installment of Google trying to show that it is privacy conscious. Let's say it like that. So what happens with version 101 is that the way that websites negotiate ads that show up in the web pages you watch is going to prevent cross-site snooping. What that means is before 101, if a website had ads, it could technically kind of make a profile of you by other things happening in the browser and cookies and so on, and kind of say, well, oh, okay, so this guy mainly does this type of browsing, for example, or likes this type of, um, you know, content. Uh, starting with this one, with 101, the way that the negotiation is done with within the browser actually for ads, what happens is that it blocks the ability of websites to kind of know what the other websites were doing. It is in the spirit of being a little more private and preventing companies from actually creating a full profile on you of who you are as a person. So we'll see what that brings. Um, I guess it goes with the fact that Google is uh, being kind of you know, uh, really um, uh, put down to, to the dirt, if we want to say so, by, first of all, the European Union with a lot of its uh, regulations. They're saying, you know what, Google's too big, too strong. We got uh, you got to do something because we're not going to allow you to do all that you do right now. So I guess it's efforts to try to do that. And this is going to actually go on the increase as time goes by for more privacy oriented browsing, apparently. Um, in real life, how is the impact of that? That's very difficult to measure because it's kind of difficult to really assess each measure of these companies of what exactly the impact is and how it changes. But anyways, uh, let's cross our fingers and hope that it is uh, a nice um, way of being a little more private. Um, it certainly is welcome if uh, Google does so. Um, that's for sure. And this is uh, something new in uh, Chrome um, 101. And uh, last but not least, uh, it's still not official, but there is there was a um, a flag that showed up that uh, you can actually have tab groups with colors and all sorts of things like that. It's not finished yet, but apparently this would be the last version where it's still beta, and which means you could actually set tab groups maybe following version 102 coming up in four weeks from now. So not a lot of front-facing features, uh, maybe a little less snooping. Uh, this is Chrome. 101 that is released today, April the 26th, 2021. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.